Bonjour. Welcome to part two, um, looking at French in nursery and thinking about daily routines and how we can embed language in what we're doing. So I've already gone through some of these ideas, saying hello and goodbye, bonjour and au revoir to your children in the mornings at the end of the day. Doing maybe an emotional check-in, ça va, oui, non, just getting them to use their thumbs and show you. If you have school lunches, you could maybe start to use the colours. If you've taught them those colours, asking them what colour they are. Are they bleu, bleu ou orange? Bleu ou orange? Bleu? Oui? Non? Orange? Oui? Non? Obviously, you've introduced the idea of what the option is for the blue and the orange lunch that day. And then you're just asking them what they want. Using the yes and the no, oui, no. Remember our voice goes up to make it a question. So you might say oui, no, and then it's a question. So asking them, do you want some carrots? Oui. You might count the children if you're putting them into groups for any activities that you're doing. So let's just count you into groups and I'm going to count you in French today. So if you want, count with me. Un, deux, trois. Like you're a group. Un, deux, trois. You're a group. And maybe getting the children then to play some games um, for PE, for instance, or, you know, if you're working up to doing PE um, activities um, that they might do in um, when they go across to primary. So you might say, I'd like to get into groups of two. De, un, de. And you might count in French. Or you might play a traffic lights game. Um, I know my children used to do this when they were at nursery. So um, blue, uh, sorry, red, orange and green. So when I say red, you stop. When I say green, you go, you may be running. And when I say orange, I want you to be walking. So you play in English first of all, and then you maybe start to introduce the colors in French. So you might say, stop, rouge, 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 color rouge. Then you might say, right, go everybody, green, vert, vert, go. And in the middle, we've got orange, amber, going to walk, orange, orange, pretend to be your oranges. And you can do the same type of activity with coloured hoops, where you say, have different hoops on the ground, different colours, and the children have to go to the right hoop uh, when you say it. So if you said rouge, they would all try and find a red hoop. Stories and songs. So it's great if we can play some songs to the children in another language. And we've got a YouTube channel with lots of things that you can um, find there that are relevant. So traditional songs um, that um, they would sing in France at this age. Um, it might be nursery rhymes like Inti Winty Spider, but in French um, and other more traditional ones. Um, and you can play those just as background when children are playing, when they're coming in, when they're leaving for quiet time, um, or if you wanted to have some actual uh, sort of a set French time, you might play a bit of French music. Stories, I would say use picture books that the children are used to in class, like English picture books, um, things like, you know, a lift the flat book like this one, or wow, said the owl. Um, and you can use those to revise French. So very simply, you read your story first of all in English, you probably all have story time. And then you think about how you could use it in another language. So who's that behind the rock? <gasps> Why don't we all say hello? Who is it? Oh, look, it's a bear. Bonjour. Bonjour. Let's say goodbye. Au revoir. We say goodbye. So any lift the flat book is really good um, for saying hello and goodbye. Um, if you then wanted to revise um, how they are, have a look at his face. How do you think he is? Do you think he's good? Ça va? Oui? Ou oh, non? Oui. Look, he's really happy. He's got a smiley face. You could also revise it for counting. Why don't we count the things that we see together? We've done our numbers. So, un, deux, 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 trois, trois. 
and you know sort of giving them a helping hand uh, by starting it off and then you could also start to look at different colors right what colors do we see we've learned our colors in french so we might say look what color is this this color here with this bush is it jaune or is it vert jaune or vert <gasps> vert très bien Notice how I'm giving them a choice of two words and not just asking them for the word, because that's quite hard. You might also do it just by pointing. Look, everybody, look what colour we've got. Jaune, jaune. Everyone show me the mind for jaune. OK, so that would be one way of revising different words. And you can start to um, maybe give simple instructions in French. Uh, when you want them to listen, you could say, right, everybody, let's listen, écoutez. Huh? And if you could all look at me, regardez. And you don't have to be doing French for that. It could be just part of what you're already doing, but you actually give those instructions in the French language. So those are just a few ideas. Okay, so let's have a think now. So we do a lot of playing in nursery, playing with different toys, it might be puppets, it might be cuddly toys, it might be dolls, and children will do a lot of imagining, okay? So we can build on that, right? Let's see, can we, let's make up a little dialogue between them. Hello, hello. What's your name? Oh, Paul, what's your name? Mm, Tim, how are you? Oh, I'm good. You? Not very good. Bye. Bye. So, you know, little dialogues and then you can ask them, can we do any of it in French? What might they say? How might they say hello to each other? Bonjour. Bonjour. Or you can make up a little puppet show and get the children to see what they can understand. So just tying in with what we're already doing, you know, if children are playing with dolls, you can go over them to say, how will we say hello to the doll? How will we say good night? It's going to go to sleep. Au revoir. Goodbye. So just trying to, you know, build on what the children are already doing. If you've got lots of costumes, the children might be pretend to be different people and they could pretend to say, pretend to be a superhero and say hello with a superhero voice. Um, all sorts of options. Playing outdoors. So hopefully there'll be lots of outdoor play going on normally anyway. Um, and could you then do some of this in another language? You know, so if your children here, the children are making little dolls and, and writing their names um, and we could say hello to them in French. Bonjour, bonjour Maya, bonjour Toby. Ça va? Oui. Um, and, you know, you could also just revise the colours. Oh, what colour did you do the dress, your dress, Maya? Oh, you did it red. Red. I wonder what colour that is in French. Can you remember? Remember if it's, is it bleu or rouge? Rouge. So just in some of those, like, learning conversations that you might have with children, checking in with them, asking them what they can see. And you might, for some of them, you might choose to do some of it in French if it was appropriate. I've already talked about doing a colour hunt outside. Um, you could link that in with doing treasure hunts where you hide things. Like around Easter time, you might hide um, different coloured eggs around the place or coloured pictures of coloured eggs. And you might say to them, right, I'd like you all to find me the rouge egg. See if you can find the red one and they have to go and find it. So, I mean, there's so many different things you can do. Um, you can also go outside and do a kind of a mindful sort of what do we hear, what do we see, um, what do we smell, you know, how many different flowers can we see today and what colours are they, let's count them. Um, and then you can start to do some of that in another language. Again, we're always just thinking about maybe just being bilingual and just using a bit of English and a bit of French. There's a lot of discovering that goes on at nursery, children figuring things out for themselves, working out problems, exploring and discovering. And that might be through messy play or through water play or sand play or playing in a mud kitchen. So there's a lot of that that goes on where learners are playing and at the same time figuring things out. 
So, you know, oh, look at these balls. They're floating. I wonder why they're floating. You know, what colours do we see? What colours are the balls? How many of them have we got? So you can sort of bring in a little bit of the language mixed in with whatever it is that they're doing. If you've got coloured spaghetti that they're playing with, oh, look at all these different colours. I can see, I can see rouge and I can see vert and jaune. What can you see? So it's just that kind of group discussion and chat um, and trying to see what the learners can do and just different ways of consolidating what they're already um, doing. Okay, it might be that they are building, lots of building and constructing. Oh, wow, that's such a great boat that you've built there. Yeah, well, look at all the different colors that we've got. We've got yellow, jaune, and rouge, and vert. Oh, we've got violet. Loads of different colours. How many pieces have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. And you can count them. Six. Okay, let's see if we can build a tower. Does it matter how high the tower is, how small the tower is? Uh, how many pieces can we put in it? What colours is it? Um, you know, just exploring um, and, and using that to then reinforce the learning. investigating so your children might be making things from different materials sand for instance they might be investigating i don't know little cars and how long it takes cars to roll down a hill uh, for instance and timing it um, by counting you know and then you can start to do that in another language you know, let's have a look, what have we got here? We're playing with sand, let's all try and make a sand castle. Um, and then let's see how long it takes us to jump in them and destroy them. I'm gonna count in French. Un, deux, trois. So we're just building on what they're already doing. There's a lot of creativity that goes on at nursery. Children might be drawing or painting or coloring. And you can see here, uh, a child has um, made a picture, drawn a picture of them looking at my family. Um, and, you know, we could use that uh, to discuss what's going on in the picture. And, you know, as a way of reinforcing the colors. Uh, oh, I see that you've given Maya yellow hair. It's jaune. Jaune is the word for yellow, isn't it? And I see that uh, there is, uh, you've written daddy in green, there, there. is that his favorite color? And you can see that these on the other side here are some rocket pictures made with different numbers for takeoff. Um, so why don't we revise our um, counting? We can't count to 10 in French, but we can count to six. Can anybody remember? So that you're tacking on to the back of what you're already doing um, in another language. Hopefully there'll be lots of making going on. That might be making things out of recycling. It might be making things from Play-Doh, um, all sorts of materials. Um, and you can use that to practice. So I'd like you all to make me a ball from a blue bit of Play-Doh, bleu. Um, I would like you to give him four legs, quatre, un, deux, trois, quatre. Or you might describe what you see at the end. Oh, you made a lovely little caterpillar there. Look at the different colours. He's got bleu, jaune, rouge and fair. So you're just repeating it so that the child is hearing that. And this might be done with just one-to-one -one, or it might be done as a group. You might get children to celebrate what they're doing um, at the end of the day and reinforce the learning that you've been working on in French. So I already mentioned listening, listening to different stories. So whatever those are, you might be working on factual things or non-factual. Um, and you might be using any of the pictures, as I already showed you, just to point out and reinforce vocabulary. It wouldn't really translate the words. If you do want um, stories that are read in French, you can find some online and on the YouTube channel for Highland, we've got some. 
a lovely thing to do is to um, look at rhymes and nursery rhymes and nursery stories that are the same in French and English. So if you're teaching Incy Winty Spider in English, maybe have a look at it in French. Um, have a think about stories like Goldilocks that are available in English and in French. Um, and again, you can find those online, either read out loud or short animations. But it's likely that you'll probably be reading stories and doing rhymes and singing every single day. So it's just nice if you can bring in a little bit of French into that. So I've put some key words here. Let's communicate. Let's play. Let's go outside. Let's listen. Let's move. Let's imagine and let's discover. So I think I've talked about all of those. Um, you know, and there's a lot more that you could do. These are just some, some sort of summary ideas. If you want any further support, if you go on to the Highland Languages CLPL site, um, which is here, and these images are hyperlinked in the PowerPoint, you can see that there's a lot of resources available for EYP spanning both nursery and P1. Um, and that's for staff training, including PowerPoints and short videos. If it's classroom resources that you're after, if you click on the SharePoint site, then you'll be able to access them. Um, and there's planners, uh, monitoring and tracking resources, vocabulary lists um, and ideas for different topics. And lastly, if you're looking at wanting to engage parents, we've got resources for early first and second level. Um, and early really is starting at P1, um, but there are videos in there for teaching um, and learning the language at home um, if parents want to. Um, so that could be useful for nursery level as well. And this document here, which this is hyperlinked, has these three different websites on it so you can access the resources. And last but not least, as I mentioned, there's a YouTube channel and that has um, training videos for EYPs as well as basic French language. It also has um, different resources that we've collected together from uh, other YouTube um, channels and sites uh, for um, songs and stories that would be suitable. It's all hyperlinked in either through the SharePoint or through the EYP page on the CLPL site. So that's everything. I'd like you really to have a think now about two things that you're going to do as a result of today's training um, and how you're going to take that forward um, in your own uh, environment, in nursery or in P1. And it might be that you decide to start off with just drip feeding a little bit of French through daily routines, um, you know, saying hello and goodbye. It might be that you want to go for more of a French once a week and do something like a sort of a French book bug session um, where you sort of do it for 10 or 15 minutes. You have a, a introductory song, a hello song, um, and you then maybe introduce a few words and take it further and read a story and play a game. Or you might like to try and just embed it in your daily routines and activities that you're doing um, as part and parcel of the natural uh, flow of nursery. So there's no right or wrong answer. There's lots of different ways that you can do it. What I'd like you to think about is what would work for you. Um, so scribble some ideas down and off you go. Bonne chance. Au revoir.